Okay, hello, Dan Downey coming to you from the Cardiac Cath Lab, Holy Family Mora. We're looking to um, implement some uh, site preparation uh, trimming into uh, our STEMI uh, protocol and, and uh, from an EMS standpoint doing that when you're on the way here with the patient. Our thought is to place the uh, clipper blade in, uh, in the STEMI kit, kits that you have already in your possession and then the uh, base, uh, the handle and the base will be plugged in in your um, ambulances and we'll have ample supplies of all those things available to you. The reason for doing this again is to save time for the uh, patient in terms of the door to balloon time, first medical contact to balloon time, those are all uh, paramount importance and your role is integral in that. So. From the site preparation standpoint, we want to show you, um, if you haven't done this before, it's not a problem. Uh, we're going to show you anatomically speaking on a, on a person here where you're going to be looking for. Obviously, step number one is you're going to have to remove the clothes okay, in the area. So winter, obviously, they're going to have more layers. We have, what, six, eight months of winter here, it seems like. And then the other time, they may not have as much facility you have to remove the clothes. So you can have access to the groins. We want both sides to be done if possible because we can use either groin or both sometimes for the calf procedure. And um, so Heidi's going to help us demonstrate where we're looking for on a real person in terms of location in the groins. Okay. So Heidi's place in her hand there, it's in the area of the crease in the groin. And she's drawing with this Sharpie the general area that we're looking for. A good rule of thumb is to trim an area of six inches by six inches. If you do that, that should be ample on almost all patients. And Heidi again has given a representation there. It's kind of a rectangular, it can be kind of rounded, if you will, as well, but you get the idea about six by six. When we place the drape over the patient here, the circles that are in both groins are about four inches, so we want to show in that area no hair. It's devoid of hair in both of those areas. That's best for infection control for the patient. Okay, and we're demonstrating the uh, trimming procedure. Heidi's using it on my arm here. My arm is in the anatomic location of the groins. Remember both sides. And you can see that Heidi was doing it there. It doesn't cause any discomfort or any problems per se. That's how the skin's going to look when the hair is removed. That's an ideal situation. And Heidi's got the trimming done. Obviously, it would be a bigger area again, like about six by six. Now we're going to use some tape. Any type of tape you have, Heidi's got a piece here, and that's picking up. Notice how that's picking up the loose hair. So this is real low tech, but it works excellent. See all the sites uh, uh, devoid of any hair in the immediate area there. Okay. So that's exactly what we're looking for, all right? And again, you can see once we put the drape over the patient in the cath lab here, in, this, in these holes, the circles on either side of the groin, we don't want to see any hair in either one of them.